Hello everyone, it's Winchester Briar here, and today I have a package from Briar um, that I am going to be unboxing on camera. I have really sucked at unboxing things on camera lately. I just get so excited that I rip it open and don't take the time to set up everything to unbox it. Before I um, get into this, let me do a quick plug. We are doing a photo show. Um, if you check out my Instagram at Winter Winchester underscore Briar, click on the little save story that says photo show. It'll tell you how to enter. There is a fee of $15 if you want all inclusive access entry, or it's $2 per horse if you're planning on only entering like a few horses. There are real ribbons that are given out. Everybody walks away with a ribbon. You get a participation ribbon, if anything, if like nothing else. So, please, please, please check that out. Go join. If you don't have Instagram, go to modelhorseheaven.com. That is our website. Click on the blog. You will see instructions on how to join. We just need as many people as possible because we're kind of changing how it's judged and we're giving out first through sixth place for classes. All classes. So, yeah. I just really, really need a lot of people to join. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's fun. It really is. I love judging them. It is. I'm not judging them this time. It is at Infinity Briars. You guys know who Infinity Briars is. She is the judge for this summer show. But yes, without further ado, we're going to open this up. But yes, everyone gets something. And if you need, if you go onto my Instagram story, um, photo shows, the saved one. It'll show you people who have participated in the past, a few people who have participated in the past who walked away with a lot of ribbons. They can vouch for me that you will be sent the ribbons. It's not any kind of scam or anything. I would never do that. I have all greens everywhere. But today we are unboxing Rihanna Cadell. And these are the first release of the Premier Club for 2019. This is their box. So, y'all, I'm pretty excited about this. This is the first year that I have been a part of the Premier Club. Premier, Premier, whatever, club. Um, and I've been a member of the Collectors Club for, shoot, I think it's been four years. But never this club, and then I had to have a bunch of the ones from last year. And there's also plenty of other models that I've had. I finally was like, why don't I just join? It's cheaper anyways, because secondhand these models always sell for a fortune. Okay, and I don't know if I'm going to keep these guys or not. The photos Briar initially released, I absolutely love them, but it's been less and less that I've been loving them the more that I see them. So here they are in their little pouch. They are bubble wrapped inside of here. It's always tied with a bow, which I think is incredibly cute. I did get Emerson directly from Briar last year, but like I bought him secondhand, but he was directly shipped from Briar. But I ended up selling him. So this is Cadell. Cadell's the full correct. I don't know. That I am opening up first. I am just very, very excited to see what this full looks like. I may sell one and not the other. I can't decide. I was originally going to sell just the fool, but... Alright. So, here is our little guy, Cadell. Um, he's cute, but I don't know. I really don't know if I want to keep him. These, He's actually not covered in flaws. He's very small. A little bit bigger than a classic fool. But he's got a pretty cute face. Sorry, there's paint on my hand. I, I think that he's pretty cute. I just don't know if I want to keep him yet or not. We will decide. I'll probably let them sit on my shelf and put out an ad for them and see if anyone bites. And if anyone bites, I'll sell them. I'm not sure what I want to do with these guys yet. And now, unboxing Mama here. You can never get them wrapped as nicely as they come from Briar. Okay, this is our Mama Rianne, I think is how you say it. Okay, so I was just looking at, I looked over there because I was looking at Bristol's stomach because I wanted to see if there was any sign, because there's not on them, but 
There is not one on Bristol, so. This is the mare. She's cute, but once again, I'm not sure, entirely sure if she's like worthy of keeping. It doesn't look like she has any flaws that I can see. She would probably show pretty well. It's interesting to me to like be holding these new molds for the first time when I've seen pictures of them for so long. I think the pictures did them more justice than in person. It's to each their own on the opinions on these guys. I'm just not that big of a fan of them. I don't know, what do you guys think of these horses? Um, they're cute, I just don't think that... I'm very picky about who I keep in my collection, and I think these guys might be ones that I do not keep. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video and for continuing to watch my videos. Once again, if you have any ideas for any future videos, comment them down below because I would love, 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 love to take requests and have some more ideas. Um, I love making videos so much. It's like a crazy passion. I'd love to do a blog. I'm actually going to turn my camera around here so you can see over there that I have a plethora of commissions including an Alborozo that I am working on. So if you'd like to see those, please let me know and I will happily show you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in whatever my next one is. Bye guys.